Striking new images show just how much the drought has affected Lake Mead. A NASA satellite took this photo in 2000 showing a full lake and fast forward to this year and you can see just how much water levels have fallen. This is the lowest the lake has ever been dating back to its creation in the 1930s. Fox 5's Lauren Martinez joins us uh, live from Lake Mead with a look at just how much water the state uses and the amount other states use. Alexis, when we think of the valley growing and Lake Mead shrinking, that's a pretty inaccurate comparison to make. The Las Vegas Valley is by no means the largest user of water. Tonight, a spokesperson for the Southern Nevada Water Authority really breaks down who those water users are. It's not new news, and I was shocked to see that satellite imagery. It's one thing to know something and another thing to see it happen in front of you. NASA released these new satellite images of Lake Mead. The water loss is striking from July 2000 to July of 2022. Three states and the country of Mexico depend on water in Lake Mead. California gets the largest share of 4.4 million acre feet. Arizona gets about 2.8 million acre feet. The country of Mexico gets 1.5 million, and us here in Southern Nevada get 300,000. Nevada gets the smallest slice of the Colorado River. We don't use that entire allocation because our conservation efforts here have been so successful. And while we'll get to conservation efforts in a moment, it's important to note California and Arizona worked out an agreement years ago that Arizona would take California shortages if Lake Mead ever ended up in a shortage condition. The California delegation worked out an agreement with Arizona whereby they would support funding the Central Arizona project in return for Arizona taking California's shortages should Lake Mead or the Colorado River ever end up in a shortage condition. And here we are today. Arizona is taking California shortage. And while the Las Vegas Valley has grown, we've done so by using less water. Since 2002, when this drought started, our community has reduced its consumption of water from Lake Mead by 26%. And we did that at the same time that our community increased in population by more than 750,000 people. The installation of a low-level pumping station allows the Water Authority to access the deepest parts of the lake. This gives us water security in being able to access those water supplies, even if Lake Mead hits dead pool elevation, which means no water is passing through Hoover Dam to meet downstream water demands in Arizona, California, or Mexico, this infrastructure that we have installed in Lake Mead assures us the ability to continue accessing water supplies uh, going forward into the future. Now this year, the federal government issued the first tier of water cuts that affect Arizona and Nevada. But because Nevada has been conserving so well, they've been able to absorb those cuts and it does, they don't have to make any drastic conservation measures at this time. Reporting live from Lake Mead, Lauren Martinez, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. And the second tier of, cu of cuts that could come from the government could come as soon as 2023.